any time is a good time to revamp your website or to start building a new website. There are so many benefits that go along with building a website and creating an asset for yourself. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five things you need in your website. Here we go. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm the host of the Violin Podcast. Thanks for joining me. This is where this is a channel where I interview violinists from around the world. And I also give tips, anything related to violin or music related. So please hit the, the subscribe button and hit those bell notifications for upcoming episodes of the Violin Podcast and other tips and tricks. So today we're going to talk about the few things uh, you need to build an effective website. There are five things in this video that you're going to learn. First off, you're going to need a clean domain. And what does that mean? A domain is like a URL where you plug in a website um, into the description, you know, in your web browser. So for me, in my personal website, I have ericmurgala.com. Very simple. It's also search engine optimization friendly, SEO for short. So you can definitely take advantage of using your name. And especially if you're a performer, whether you're a violinist or if you're a musician coming across this page, you can use your name to build an asset for yourself for years to come. Tip number two is to have a clear objective with your website. I oftentimes see that my colleagues and other musicians that I see on social media, and I, you know, sometimes I look at their website and sometimes it's an art gallery. And, you know, a website is designed for you to make a business out of your profession. If you're a performer, if you're a teacher, educator, etc., your website is designed to help earn an income, a money in short. So having a clear objective on what you want to accomplish with your website. If you're a photographer and the only way you can showcase your work is through a gallery, that makes total sense. But if you're a musician, you need to have a clear objective if you're a teacher or if you're a performer and you need to outline that in the first five seconds of somebody coming to your website. Now, I know in the beginning of this video, I said I was going to give five tips, but I'm actually going to give you a bonus tip. So make sure you listen to the end of the video for that bonus tip. Tip number three, you want to have a well-written bio. And I have some experience in writing bios. So if you're interested in collaborating and helping you write a clear bio, please leave a comment down below on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you're watching, and then maybe we can uh, stay in touch and how to help you get a clear bio. Now, writing a bio takes some finessing. You don't want your bio to be too flashy or, you know, too humble per se. You want to identify the things that you have accomplished, you know, your greatest accomplishments without sounding too pretentious or sounding, um, uh, too over the top, right? So you want to make sure your bio is clear, it's concise, and it'll offer enough information to your audience who either a booking agent or a fan can clearly identify what you're about and, and, and that. Tip number four is to have a high quality image on your website. So that can mean uh, of you playing with your instrument, uh, particularly the violin or instrument or guitar, whatever it is. And also you want to make sure you have a headshot. So you could either have of one you playing or a headshot. And it's good to have both. Um, one high quality image will do. And, you know, smartphones are a great way to go ahead and, you know, get a nice clear smartphone. If you're on a budget, if you're on a tight budget, doing a smartphone picture, have somebody do the picture for you, I think that'll be, you know, just enough for you to get by. And then later on, when you have the funds, you have the budget, then you can hire a professional photographer to help you get a professional image on your website. And not to mention, you could also use this picture for your press marketing, uh, press kit, um, you know, for local newspapers. So, you know, you can recycle that picture. If you have one really good picture, that's all you need. Tip number five, you need to have music on your website. If you're a musician building a website, you need to have music so people know how you play, what you play, what you're about. If you're a singer songwriter, what kind of songs you write about? Do you have lyrics that are really clear in your descriptions? And 
those are really, really important. You know, your fans, your your potential fans are looking for something new. They're looking for something creative and something that you want to offer. So, you know, don't be shy. Even if it's one song, make sure you have at least one song or one sonata or one, if you're a composer, then you have one work that's really good quality on your website so people can get an idea of who you are, what you write. Now, I promise I would leave a bonus tip and this is often uh, overlooked. Make sure you have a contact form. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't have a contact form, you are you don't have the ability for someone else to contact you for gigs. You don't have the ability to, you know, collaborate with someone if there's another artist out there that wants to work with you. That is super important, especially for the violin podcast and for my other podcast, the Everyday Musician podcast. I've gotten, you know, contact um, requests from the contact form on my website. So don't overlook this small detail. It's going to help you tremendously, especially in the long run. There you have it. Those are my five tips on getting the things you need in a website once you already have a website. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell notifications. Again, my name is Eric. I'm the host of the Violin Podcast where I interview violence from around the world. I also give marketing tips and other strategies for anyone who wants to have a successful career in music. Please make sure to subscribe, hit those bell notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.